Hey guys, Urban Girl Survivor here. So I'm coming to you guys today from my floor. Don't ask me why, but today I feel like sitting on the floor. So I'm on the floor today coming to you guys to share with you guys um, just a few tips that women, mostly women, but um, everyone can use in their everyday routine. Um, pretty much like safety tips, I guess you can say. About eight tips that you need to use daily for safety precautions just because you know the world's so crazy right now and you know especially I work in a place where gun violence happens daily you know gunshots is literally like someone knocking on your door around here so um there's just a couple of tips that I'm giving to you um experience a lot of them are from experience and kind of um, just searching the web on what women should know and be more cautious of, being precautious. Um, the first tip I have for you is, especially if you live at home by yourself or if you're at home, you know, alone, especially like teenagers, you get freedom and you get to be at home by yourself, you're excited. But remember, lock your doors, your car doors, your bedroom door if you have one you know lock your windows your house just make sure you lock it up I've had nights honestly where me or my mother have cracked the door open our front door not on purpose but sometimes we'll crack like we'll have the door open a little bit and we'll forget to close it you know and it's open all night and who knows what could have happened so um definitely lock your doors um that's like my number one not really number one but it's definitely pretty high on that list um and in your house you know when someone knocks on the door of course you use your peepholes and make sure you look out the window if you hear something strange going on I wouldn't even go towards the door I kind of just like make sure it goes away and then if it doesn't want to enter your house that's fine Make sure you stay prepared if it does. Um, of course, when driving your car, wear your seatbelt. Definitely wear your seatbelt. If you have children, make sure they're strapped in securely. You never know. Accidents happen every day. Freak accidents happen every day. You never know what's going on. You never know what's going on around you. But if you're safe, you're you know when you're safe, the safest you can be is with the seatbelt in a car you know so wear your seat belts make sure you don't pick up hitchhikers do not pick up people that are sitting on the side of the road talking about I'm trying to go to Florida you know don't do any of that who cares get on the bus or something so do not pick up hitchhikers whether it be little kids kids are prone you know they are very 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 prone to hurting you they're very prone to having someone come and hurt you so I just even though it says you know kids they need help or whatever it is just kind of pray about it and drive by you know it's just your safety is not worth that because that kid could be in danger that kid is probably in danger Make sure you always have some kind of a first aid kit any kind of safety supplies, even if you need just aspirin or Advil or something like that, just make sure you have all of that in like a little baggie or first aid kit that you keep in your car, your purse, um, at home especially, make sure you stock up on those things. I keep one in my purse as well as my car, just because you never know. If you run out of something, you forget to replace it, you kind of still have it. I have a very bad time with replacing things so I kind of just make sure that they're there somewhere People like me who get out of work really really late at night avoid dark alleys avoid dark parking lots I park in my parking structure pretty much every night or if not every night I'm parking somewhere where I need a flashlight because it's pretty dark so try to avoid them um even if you can't avoid them make sure you have a flashlight make sure you have your pepper spray make sure you have something a knife something that you can um if you you know are able to hold um to carry a gun make sure you have that make sure you have it loaded when you exit 
your workplace or wherever you are that you need to walk in an alley or you or just stay on a trail where it's light um it's very unsafe you know to walk in a dark alley you don't know if someone's you know in the cuts or if someone is just like you just you just never know those things are really really dangerous um definitely definitely avoid dark places in your mind too just avoid dark darkness avoid darkness From a woman to a woman we all know that we need to take self-defense classes even if you just take one self-defense class just make sure you take something that you know if someone strikes you or if someone's trying to attack you you kind of know what to do you know you can kind of start yourself and then go off of however things end up after that but even if it's just a kickboxing class even if it's you know just anything just take some kind of self-defense class even if you teach yourself online I'm pretty sure there's something online that teaches you self-defense even though it's good you know to have someone there to fully demonstrate it for you but even if you can't afford it then I'm pretty sure there's someone out there your uncle your cousin someone that can teach you self-defense even if it's just the basics because the basics is really all you need to know where to hit them at what hurts the most what can really cause the most damage, you know, physically with your hands or your other body parts. I all know that I know how to handle natural disasters. <laughs> yeah, but of course know how to, you know, be prepared in that situation. Definitely have your bug out bag. I've said this millions of times, bug out bag. You've heard that word thousands of times with me but it's just so important that you have those things with you I'm not even gonna go into that because you guys know I talk about that all the time but definitely be prepared for any kind of disaster whether it be an earthquake in California we have crazy crazy earthquakes you learned all these things in middle school and elementary school stand between a door stand under a, a table that I could probably f never fit under right now so just kind of prepare yourself mentally for natural disasters last but not least don't panic let me say that again don't panic there's always always in any kind of situation whether it be I mean someone get into a car accident whether it be just something in broad daylight someone gets shot something there's always someone that is just running ripping running through the streets yelling and they're apparently scared and they kind of make everyone else scared so if you in your mind have that don't panic you can probably you know do a lot of thinking and kind of get yourself out of that situation and, and either even help others out of that situation so that's really a good thing if you have that good attribute to just not panic and you know get you and your friends and your family to safety that's pretty like the most important thing because if something happens and you panic you freeze up your brain doesn't know what to do it kind of shuts down so yeah you're kind of screwed from there just kind of screwed from there i really do thank you guys for watching this urban girl survivor channel and i hope that it has been you know helpful for you guys and just let us know what you want to hear from us we are definitely open to questions um let us know what you like and what you don't like you know we may not put certain things on here that you guys aren't interested in so kind of just let us know what what you're thinking um and we will be back soon we're thinking about going paintballing soon so we may get some footage of that it's gonna be fun we love adventure so that will be fun. We're kind of excited. Yes. Okay, guys. Have a good one. Happy Monday. You guys know the deal. Keep living, keep loving, and keep surviving. See you later, guys.